there is a, a new trend happening. It is called Lux Maxing. I don't know where this is gonna be, but uh, let's see. I try Lux Maxing. We're gonna try out the various methods, products, and exercises that the Lux Maxing community promotes to see if it actually has an impact on my appearance. So, so it's like how to maximize your looks. Oh. Th that's what it feels like. Okay. So let's see the results. Really quick before the video starts, I just want to let you all know my comedy special Keep Busy is now available to purchase and own on my Patreon. You don't even need to be a member of my Patreon to watch the special. You can just purchase it with a couple clicks and watch it as many times as you want for the rest of your life. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Also, there's a few tickets left for my shows in Arizona coming up very soon. And I'm doing a hometown show in Hamilton, Ontario. Oh. Tickets are available right now. Kind of cool, Links like, you know, like that you went from a YouTuber to an out, like do... Stand up comedy? Stand up comedy. Mm. Generally, people do oppose it. Yeah. They do stand up so comedy much. and then go Enjoy to the video. Them. Folks, it's a new year. And now is the time to start setting some goals and aspirations for yet another trip around the sun. We've been circling like that, that thing for years, man. It's probably super annoying. I feel bad for the guy. And I'm only assuming the son is a boy because it's not called the daughter. Whether you want to read more <laughs> books this year or work out a way to never read a book ever again, whatever it is, there are tons of healthy and productive methods to achieve your goals. But obviously, if you've seen my videos before, we're not going to be talking about any of those methods today. I think a common New Year's resolution- We're going to go with the most ludicrous, extreme, you know, dumb things that you can do to yeah. maximize and achieve your goals. <laughs> is to take better care this of is YouTube. And in turn, you'll look better and feel better, which is great. But I think in the modern age, with a never-ending onslaught of information from non-reputable sources, paired with the constant impulse to compare yourselves to other people who are only posting the positive aspects of their life and appearance, it creates this sort of like perfect storm where people try to improve the way they look in the most harmful ways imaginable. Which brings us to today's topic, looks maxing. If you've never looks heard of it before, maxing. the most basic definition of looks maxing is the physical improvement of a person's face and or body. According to an article in the New York Times, the term looks maxing has roots on incel message boards and the manosphere, which heavily attribute romantic success to the perceived genetic... I, I, that just comes like from like the, the giga chat kind of things, you know? <laughs> advantages held by tall and muscular men. So in short, looks maxing is mostly done by insecure young men who are willing to try just about anything to improve their looks. And like I said, there are a ton of healthy, proven ways to improve your health and appearance. But a lot of the look smaxing methods and ideologies. Uh, and also I feel like when it comes to health, I feel like what people forget is like health is not just looks. Yeah, health is like a healthy body. The <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's not just looks. It's just like having a healthy body. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> healthy just having a six pack, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes. But okay, beyond the looks <laughs> and having a healthy body, which is like connected, right? Uh people sometimes tend to forget like the the mental aspect, you know, that it comes with health, you know? Yeah. It's not only what goes inside your body, but also what goes inside your mind. And uh, that's what being healthy means that that's the full definition of being healthy is not only is connected about what you know how you look and uh, you know hmm. it's more like about what do you think and do and look you know are just straight up dangerous and this trend of looks maxing has exploded in the past year mainly On due TikTok. to tiktoks showcasing looks maxing <laughs> methods TikTok. as well as before Fucking and after TikTok, shots man. of dudes on their looks maxing journey uh, like this one here before after okay, okay aside from uh -huh. the fact that it looks like an entirely different lens was used on the camera i think he just got angry <laughs> before after here's another example of a before and after post before hair maxing skin care maxing shave maxing what? water maxing and sleep maxing jesus man how many fucking maxings are there i'd assume all of these fall under the umbrella of looks maxing but like what the hell man bro is maxing maxing let's see what he looks like after because he doesn't look that bad right now okay 
Yeah, I mean, it's different lighting. He shaved his face. And he's making a different expression. To <laughs> <He's> a... <laughs> My expression Chad, is Chad, I'm gonna go from... Uh... <laughs> In the S to in the S maxi. Uh, zoom, zoom in on you. You're gonna zoom in on me. Normally in the S. In the S maxi. And try to show this. <laughs> in the S maxi. <laughs> you know? Oh my god, chat. Oh God, Dude, sorry for being skeptical face. right off the bat. Oh, it's just fuck. funny to me that all the looks maxing before and afters look like if you just put one of those handsome filters on face app on yourself. And dude, also the funny thing about this is like the looks maxing trend is the most popular with teenage boys, aka yeah. dudes who are the currently pro yeah, going through puberty. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, man, no shit, you're starting to look different, dude. It's not looks maxing, it's nature aging <laughs> Dude, my balls started hair maxing last night w but the people who engage in looks maxing they make some pretty bold claims there are people convinced that looks maxing can literally change the shape of your face i changed my face from this to that by using three simple steps and you can do that too and gain more chiseled and well you know what he's gonna say one of the steps yeah bro you just have to chew some gum keep chewing gum to involve and develop your 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 chew your uh you know like these uh this jawline. jawline and uh people really think that you're Pe gonna grow your bones Pe yeah by chewing gum you're yeah. probably gonna rot in your teeth though i'll define jawline and not just the shape like the way your eyes look literally change everything about your face with their what various the methods products and exercises and it's like why go through all of that when i could just pay a thousand gold to galathal at the ragged flag and underneath the city of rifton <laughs> and i mean sorry for gamer maxing <laughs> i don't know dude to me the concept of looks maxing seems a little absurd but there's only one way to find out if it actually works so this week i'm going to try out the various methods products and exercises that the looks maxing community promotes to see if it actually has an impact on my appearance. And I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, oh yeah, good luck improving your face, Curtis. You're literally the epitome of male beauty. <laughs> and I thank you for it. Thank you so much for saying that. But believe it or not, there are some parts of my face that, that I would like to improve a little bit. I think we all have that, right? I could just say we're all beautiful the way we are, which is true, but I don't want to be beautiful. I just wanna. <laughs> <laughs> my face could use some improvements, okay? When I look back on videos from like 2019, my jawline went crazy, dude. The hell? Look at that thing. That's why I couldn't grow any facial hair back then. My jaw was like a friggin' razor, dude. Automatically <laughs> cut any hair that was trying to grow. So I'm genuinely gonna try out these methods this week. He actually and see if it actually does yeah, anything. Yeah. But before I do that, we need <laughs> to learn about a few of these looks maxing techniques. How to the look, number one thing that look look looks maxers promote is a technique called mewing. <laughs> and no, mewing isn't just repeatedly playing the last level of Pokemon Snap on N64. Sorry for gamer maxing again. So what is mewing? Let's find out. Mewing is a technique developed by Dr. John Mew, where you press the tongue against the palate to improve facial structure and jawline. How to mew? Close your mouth, just place your bottom uh, yeah. front teeth just behind your upper front teeth, Flatten your tongue against the roof of the mouth. Move the tip of the tongue behind your teeth without touching. Hold for as long as you can, or as long as you want to. How mewing elevates your overall look, better facial appearance. <laughs> I, oh, Chad, I'm literally trying to do this right now. So tough. I am literally, okay, let, let's My repeat. My tongue is going like. Close your mouth, place the bottom front teeth just behind your up front teeth. <laughs> Flatten your tongue against the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Move the tip of the tongue behind your teeth without touching. Hold as long as you can or as long as you want. By the end of this video and our chat, <laughs> we'll all look like Giga Chats. Yeah, uh, true. <laughs> I, I, oh, listen, after 40 minutes, you guys are going to look like Luke Maxine. Like, best, best. For as long as you want to. How mewing elevates your overall look, better facial appearance, more muscular facial structure, but, but do you keep improved it like profile this all the look, time? overall appeal, improved photogenic qualities, boosted lower face shape and alignment. <laughs> and I read a lot about mewing. There's a lot of uh, conflicting oh, opinions. You know what? If you keep it for like a while, it pains. <laughs> That's so much. Oh, my God. Bro, 
Yeah, like it pains on my tongue, not on my jaw. It's like yeah. it's a weird sensation. Opinions about it, but WebMD says that there is no serious research that suggests mewing can change the shape of your jawline or help with other issues. Experts say it's unlikely you'll see any permanent change. But WebMD has also told me some pretty wildly untrue shit about my body over the years, so I don't know if I can trust them. I typed in tummy ache one time on WebMD and I got a phone call that said, you're gonna die in seven days. So for the next week, I am gonna be mewing all day long to see if it has any impact oh, on my fuck, facial I, structure. I, Funnily I enough, the last time man. I was at my dentist, they actually recommended oh that God. I rest my tongue on the top of my oh mouth God, because I grind my teeth so much when I'm working. So if my dentist is watching this video, they're probably kicking their feet right now. Also, now that I think about it, a lot of the looks maxing videos focus a lot on just taking good care of your teeth and making them really white and shiny and clean. So I think dentists are like secret look smacksers. This is a pic of me and my dentist, by the way. Also, dude, the look smacksing world has like so many phrases and terms that they use that I've had. If it's hurting, your tongue is getting buffed. Yeah, I'm going to have a six pack tongue. <laughs> That's a six pack tongue. Look smacksing. I'm going to go to the chick. You want to see my six pack? <laughs> That's a ferociously Google in the past few days. And one of the terms I use is mogging. That word comes up a lot. Mogging? You'll probably see it in some TikToks and stuff, so I should explain it. Mogging is a verb. It's like when you uh, compare yourself to another man and you see them as uglier or weaker or just inferior in any sort of way. So when you stand next to them, like you're mogging them. So if a looks maxer thinks he's, uh, he's better than you, he'll be like get mogged and that term created a joke like within the look smacksing community okay. where people would say they're going to mogwarts like hogwarts the school but it's for everyone is just fucking they're mewing the whole oh time oh my god but the yes. crazy thing is somebody actually turned the fictional like satirical mogwarts joke into an actual online course what the hell is mogwarts and why is it 40 dollars <laughs> after you join you're invited to this private community if you need any advice you can post a thread about it or reach out to teachers like keishami Aaron, or myself if you want their advice directly they'll answer your dms you also get access to a library for textbooks on jaw eye area hair and new additions every <laughs> month then there's these regular what Google the Meets fuck? classes where you can actually talk face to face with your teachers to ask them personalized advice. Oh my god, thank you. Like, that's literally what I what did. Is, what's going on? What are we doing? <laughs> I swear to god, dudes will turn anything into an online course. This is a fu this is an epidemic, bro. We enough, okay? We're done. How about no more no more online courses, okay? Oh, yeah. Guys starting online courses is the new Yo, we should start a podcast. A guy will find like a $20 bill on the ground and the next day he'll be like, "Yo, just launched my new online course, how to find a $20 bill on the ground." There's only a couple spots <laughs> left, so click the link, get in. It costs only $20, so at the very best case scenario, you'll break even. Sorry, right, back to this Mogwarts thing. It costs $40 a month to learn how to improve your looks. And as much as I can joke about it, like, this is sad. This is really sad, dude. If there are any young boys watching right now, don't fall for this shit, okay? These are people... It, it, it's like, you know, like, the whole economy nowadays, it's literally farming in cells. Yeah. You know, in sales from like the uh, first, he was entertained with a sort of a slurs university, uh, only fan girls, and now you have like this shit. You probably have like way more other things that we don't even know. Yeah, it's just like, it, it are like men or young men that fucking stupid. That is like they are so easy to get tricked and fall for these things. Yeah, that it can actually happen to them. Because that's how it feels, man. Like, it feels like it is, like, the easiest target, especially, like, for lonely young men that are, you know, and I think, like, COVID, like, literally just blew up this out of proportion, right? Yeah. But uh, it, it, everywhere I go, I see just, like, every time, like, Kick.com is farming these, these incels and kids and stupid kids. TikTok, like, looks maxing. It's the same thing, like, insecure men. Uh, Usler's University, the same shit. Only fans, the same. It's like, bro, everywhere I look, everything is wrong nowadays with the, all these things mm. are being financed by fucking incels. You know, it's it's kind of crazy to see. Yeah.
preying on your insecurities and it's fucking gross. If you're a fucking teenager, you shouldn't even be worrying about this shit at all. Yeah, you're gonna grow up, bro. Short Literally, yeah. It, it, I was, what, like 23 and I looks like so bad. Yeah, your look changes like drastically. Just wait until you're 25. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's, if you don't look as good now, don't worry, boy. Hopefully, whenever you grow like to 24, 25, you know, you're probably going to change. Time period of your life, and it does not fucking matter. Trust me. Just enjoy being an ugly teenager. All right. <laughs> not to mention, that's oh, nerdy. That's how I sign up for an online course. You know what I mean, you already have regular homework. You don't need Mogwarts homework. But 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 also like, on their defense, okay, mm -hmm. on defense of like young teenager, I also have sympathy because the pressure right now on looks and you know social media and all these things is like out of the roof. You know, like. The, the, the these things didn't exist in our time. Like if you didn't look good, only you had to deal that was in school. But now it's everywhere. Yeah. So also, like I I thought like these things exist only in women's uh, circle. You know, do mm. this, do that. But this is very new for me. Like for young. Uh, I also men. feel like this is very new for men. Yeah. The, oh fuck! The, it's so it's so sad that I I hope that uh, at least men they stay away from these beauty standards and shit. Because it's so humiliating for women. No, no, but I think it's humiliating for everywhere, uh, for everyone. Like, whenever the, you go... But it's like, pressure. it's socially accepted. It's more socially accepted for people to see men with a six-pack or the stereotype of a strong man be like a very muscular man. You mm. know? That's... It, it, in the society, that's acceptable. You know? Yeah. That, like, every, every time you want to play a game... And the guy will, or a superhero, they will always be very muscular, good looking, and all these things. Mm. You know? And it's socially acceptable. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Sorry, let's get back to the methods. I found another TikTok from this video where he put, What was the best looks maxing tip for you? And in brackets, <laughs> besides jelking. And I've never heard what of jelking, jelking before, so I Googled it and. I don't want to do that. I don't even want to fully explain it. And I don't even think I could without this video getting demonetized. Without getting too graphic, jelking is like if you went to Subway and ordered a six inch, but then when you got the sandwich, you tried to like stretch it out into a foot long. Number 12, cock. That just seems impossible and also inappropriate for YouTube. So I'm not going to do that. What? Another TikTok I, I saw featured this guy uh, reviewing some looks maxing products. So let's take a look at that. Right. 10 out of 10. I think I tracked down the exact product that he used. It looks like this Mayena Sports oh my Jaw God. Exerciser for Exercise. men and women. So I ordered one. Like, like how the f how stupid you have to be <laughs> to think that your bones are gonna yeah. increase by doing these. Those, and I'm gonna try it this week to give my like, just go to science class. Man. And the next object he used is you called a gua sha stone. I've never heard of this before, but gua sha is actually a traditional Chinese oh, medicine practice use. that dates back like thousands of years. And it's said to have many benefits like smoothing wrinkles, getting rid of puffiness, promoting oh, circulation, yeah. etc. And since it's been used in China for like thousands of years, it only makes sense for white people to be like, yo, fucking check out this brand new thing I found. And pretty much every looks <laughs> maxer I've seen recommends using one of these. So I got one. Yes, bitch. It's like a pivotal a aspect. Bl uh, blood circulation, but you don't need that. You just use this. Sometimes I do that in the morning. Mm hmm to get rid of this puffiness, but it doesn't do anything. ...of looks maxing that is apparently very important is your posture. I have fucking terrible posture because I sit at my computer all day long, editing and writing. Even when I'm like genuinely <laughs> relaxing, I have the posture of like a deflated balloon animal, dude. It's so sad to look at. I have the posture of a soft penis. I literally look like Randall from Recess sometimes. <laughs> it's fucking, it's rough, dude. So I think this is going to be tough for me to fix that. But while I was researching ways to improve my posture, I found a device that you can like stick to your back and it like vibrates whenever you slap. Oh. So I ordered that one too to fix my posture. And I'm sure this is going to work wonders and not be annoying at all. And the final product that looks maxers recommend is chewing gum. But not just any chewing gum. Hard I called it. Gum. So I ordered some jawliner oh, facial fitness chewing, chewing gum. gum. Facial fitness chewing, chewing gum. gum mint. mint. 
if there is a definition of like selling uh cobra is it fat, is it like oil skin no uh, oil snake snake oil snake oil this is it this is literally normal chewing gum with a different name and packaging mm. as well realizing now a lot of these products are uh jaw focused so by the end of the week dude i'm gonna look like fucking crimson chin dude i'm excited <laughs> now, these methods haven't been that crazy so far aside from the fucking gel thing but there are some other looks maxing methods that are just straight up insane and i cannot make a video about it without addressing them the craziest one is a method called bone smashing which is exactly what it sounds like i don't know how many people are like seriously doing this but bone smashing is when you take like a hammer or a rock or a similar hard object and literally fucking break the bones in your face in the hope that they will heal in a certain way that will make you look more attractive which is oh fucking my. gnarly i feel like that's like the human equivalent of when your computer isn't working so you just start fucking <laughs> smacking it in the hopes that that will fix something and obviously don't fucking do that and i'm not gonna do that in this video mostly because i don't think i have the balls to fucking break my own bone if i was gonna do that i'd have to go to like a construction site and start making fun of How the fucking workers so they would come and hit my face oh my hey nice pylon pussies <laughs> how about you all pylon these nuts Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm not actually going to do any bone smashing. That's your mother's job. She's smashing my bone till I gel. And the interesting thing about looks maxing is the people who are into it have a really strange obsession with their faces looking a very specific way. Giga they give the attractiveness way. of men on a very objective level. And I'll show you what I mean. I found a really weird TikTok account where they give like Giga extremely Giga right detailed there. reviews on how attractive certain men are. How attractive is Cillian Murphy? Cillian has equal facial thirds, blue eyes with a positive canthal tilt, low set, thick, and slightly positively tilted eyebrow. Bro, uh. th this is like... The, these is like, I I wanna say like if you're into these like first of all you probably have a problem and the I don't know man it's it's kind of it's sad it's sad it's it's just sad his jawline visibility is excellent and he has a wide and it's like it shows like reflects so much your insecurities. You know like I I feel I like anyone is like obsessed by like these looks and. In like these constructions and plastic surgery, no, no, no. So I know you are into plastic, but I, but no, no, no. My I, my opinion is like, like you're like much. also fucking secure. No. If you're obsessed by these things and surgeries and things, it is I'm just not so fucking obsessed weird. by surgeries and things. I I just like to check after and before and bad surgeries. Yeah. Third, he's got high set cheekbones and a good <laughs> mid face ratio. He has full lips. His hair texture is good. And full his skin lips. Has a great complexion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You sound insane. What are you saying? Also, I'll have you know, at the end of this video, they don't even say no homo. They say, oh my god, my, my, my mouth is only 69% uh, full. Oh my god, you know? It, it, it's a say. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, do people actually judge other people's attractiveness like this? I feel uh, like this is serial killer shit, right? Wow, slightly positively tilted eyebrows, equal facial thirds, positive canthal tilt. Oh my god. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. Like, these people are so obsessed with all having the exact same type of face. Is that really the world you want to live in? Where everybody looks the exact fucking same? Every dude is walking around with the same fucking jaw shape, same eyes, same lips, same fucking... That's boring, dude. Wake up, sheeple. We need weird looking... That's exactly the word we live nowadays when it comes to women. Yeah. It's like, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, yeah. paste. You know? mm. Fuckers, all right? We need dudes who look like medieval babies. We need fucking freaks, dude. We need straight up oddballs. You know what I mean? Those are the people you remember. But these looks maxers get fucking hyper fixated on the features that they think they need, like hunter eyes, for example. It's tough to lock down a real <laughs> definition of what hunter eyes are. But I think from what I've read, it's like when you have eyes that point like up, like that way, like this guy or this guy or that guy. <laughs> Fellas. Ladies only want one thing, the green goblin. You know, I'm something of a mewer myself. But thankfully, there is a way to get hunter eyes if you don't have them. Okay. Oh, he's a mess. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. 
Why? Okay. All right. So pretty much just finger the hell out of my face. I realize that this guy makes a lot of videos about how to achieve the, the look smacks or look. And in another video, he claims that in order to make your face more symmetrical, you need to stop sleeping on, on one side and start sleeping on your back. Oh, and I'm I just going to say right now, you. I'm not fucking doing that. I'd rather have the most asymmetrical face in the world than get fucking sleep paralysis. Okay, so sorry. You guys go right ahead and you can tell the hat man I say, get a new hat. Put the fedora down, bro. <laughs> you think the hat man in New York has like a fucking Yankees fitted on? <laughs> Some fucking Tims. Hey, yo, let me get a sleep paralysis the Aki way. So and this other video I found has some jaw exercises we can do. All right. Okay, these seem, oh these seem pretty God, doable. Chat. You gotta make sure your parents are very popular. You do this, right? They walk in, you think you're getting fucking possessed. Among women. Be because it's like. I, I, I'll say, like. Uh, uh, this jaw thing for a, for a guy is like, bro, first of all, just if you can't just grow a fucking beard, <laughs> <laughs> you know, fake your jawline. Uh, second, like it feels that it's becoming like, you know, like how we was like five years ago, like the poor women, like the, the, the butt shape. You know, like that very curvy body and all yeah. these things, etc. Like was everywhere. This is what is becoming for me. But but you know what? This is not very surprising for me. It already existed for women. Yeah, but it's it's not like just affecting demon men. inside me is like laughing yeah. inside. Okay, now you men, you're gonna get, feel this shit. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. Also, dude, it's really funny. I looked through this guy's account and like every video, he's like looking to the side. Every fucking video, dude. It's like, what's the point of improving your looks if you can't even show all of your looks, right? You're just showing the one <laughs> angle, dude. It's really funny to imagine this guy doing that in real life as well. Congrats on getting your license. I'll just need you to look right at the camera. You, the you think I should start streaming like this? And, uh, and, and <laughs> I, I do the, you know, like I, I do this and... Uh, you do sharpen the jaw. Yeah, I, I sharpen my jaw. Huh? You maybe, break your bone. maybe I should do that. I actually need it. You know, I can I can see. I'll make like very here. Boom. Yeah. You know. Now now you can grow. Oh, on me. You wanna do on you? Like do it. The show. You have a good jaw. Look yeah. at you. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, look, your looks maxing, girl. Oh yeah. L look at this. You're. I think I should promote these kind of things. Yeah, you, know? you should do looks maxing. Hey. I have a nice job. Okay. You're gonna I'm do gonna look smacking on God. TikTok. That's the next TikTok you're gonna do. Instead of those fucking outfits of the day, you just do look smacking. <laughs> sure. That's Everybody all right. should no, do it. You're doing like the wrong content. This is fun. I'm sorry, man. That's the rules. No, you're not just your talking. eyes. I need, like, all of you. I need you to turn to face me. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't know if I can do that. Look, I'm sorry, man. I don't make the rules. Okay, fine. Okay, holy shit. Are you okay? Just take the fucking picture! Alright, man. <laughs> okay, I think we've covered most of the aspects of looks maxing. I've got a good amount of techniques, methods, and products that I can implement into my daily routine. And I think it's time for me to try these out to see if it makes a difference on my appearance. I took a picture of what my face looks right now, so we can compare that to the end of the week to see if it actually fucking worked. So from now on, I'm only gonna break my mewing streak to talk to the camera, okay? So, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> my looks maxi journey. <laughs> So I decided my first day would be my ultimate Mew day. I was gonna keep my tongue pressed to the top of my mouth all day long. Everything I did that day, I kept my mouth shut. I made a delicious <laughs> looking breakfast sandwich, but I unfortunately couldn't oh, eat it without disrupting my sandwich. mewing. So I just gazed upon it instead. It tasted <laughs> so good, maybe. I watched the movie Saltburn and I mewed the whole time. And it's a good thing because that bathtub scene made me puke, but none of it <laughs> came out of my mouth. All day, my wife was trying to talk to me, but I could not falter. A man's gotta mew what a man's gotta mew. I was walking to my bedroom and I stubbed my toe and I wanted to scream so bad, but I couldn't mess up my streak. So I marched forward, brushed my teeth the best I could, then went to bed. 
Okay. So since I do a lot of videos that require me to actively engage with different weird communities on TikTok, my For You page is constantly changing into different versions of uh, dog shit. And the more looks maxing <laughs> content I searched up and engaged with, the more looks maxing content would organically show up on my For You page. And I saw tons of videos. Dude, I even saw a post from a looks maxer saying that drinking regular tap water is making us ugly. Now, I don't think that's true at all, but regular tap water can get pretty boring, which is why I love using today's sponsor, Air Up. Folks, Air Up is a completely new and unique that was a hydration good transition, experience. Though. Did you good know our segue. sense of smell is responsible for 80% of what we taste? Think about it. Remember when you were a kid plugging your nose while eating Brussels sprouts so you didn't have to taste it? Well, Air Up uses that same logic, but the opposite. All I got to do is choose one of the many different scent pods available. My favorite is peach, personally. Pop that on the top of the bottle, fill it so up I with think tap only water, and simply the pull smell, up the pods but to normal activate water. the magic yeah. of scent-based taste. Cause I'm just drinking plain old tap water, but my silly caveman brain is tasting peach. It's wild. It's and if I feel crazy, like going right? back to regular drinking I, I water like without these, any uh, flavor for some reason, all you gotta do is push the pod back down. Because usually, Simple as that. So if you wanna start this new year on the like right foot and start water. drinking more water every day, Air Up is the best way to do yeah, it in my opinion. Water so click the link day, in my description to discover thing. this completely yeah. new and unique hydration. Because if you want to want like some flavor sometimes, you have to, you know, put like, you know, this thing all day like a Goddamn These flavor guinea pig, okay? I drink it at my podcast studio. I'm drinking it when I'm working. It's it, all the time, dude. And I seriously love it, and I would recommend it to anybody. So I hope you check them out because it also helps me out when you check out the sponsor. So everybody wins here, dude. Okay, thanks again to Air Up. Back to the video. Another looks maxing TikTok video I was served featured a man telling me that the way I walk is making me ugly. That's why the statue of David is so handsome. <laughs> he doesn't move. He's just fucking standing all the time, right? We don't know if he has an ugly walk. Most men are walking. Rushed with oh my god, is this guy now doing? Oh my god, I you know, know this guy. I know this guy. He used to do like fashion content. I don't tell me like uh, he ended up like now doing this. Your head uh, down to avoid. He's like, how to walk like an alpha? Avoid eye contact. Look what? straight ahead when you walk. To do this, starting with number one, never hide your thumbs. This makes you seem nervous, almost as if you have something to hide. Number two, you want to sway your shoulders. Number three, you should always walk around as if there is this straight line running from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. All right, so if I'm going to be honest, I didn't know that there was a correct or incorrect way to walk it seems pretty stressful to to worry about that type of shit if i'm being honest but like the idea of looks maxing is to like stand out right be memorable what if i just fucking crab walk crab maxing dude crab maxing. sorry what did he say again he said uh never hide your thumbs <laughs> sway your shoulders and then walk like there's a straight line from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet Okay, thumbs, shoulders, line. Okay. And with my new manly hot guy walk mastered, another day of looks maxing was complete. Crab walking, S tier. <laughs> all day I've been subconsciously keep, keeping my tongue at the, at the top of my mouth all day long. You know, to get that. You did you do nice it again? Draw line, right? Yeah. You and all <laughs> yes, it does I did. feel a little weird because I'm just so not used to it. And I've also had like an irrational fear of swallowing my tongue ever since I saw someone do it on TV one time. So that's been sort of tough to overcome. I'm just like subconsciously in my head, I'm just like, you know, always mewing, always gotta be, all, the tongue is always on the top. It'd be cool if I could put like, if I could rub like some, maybe I'll rub like some salami or pepperoni on the top roof of my <laughs> mouth, just rub it there so I can just like put my tongue up there, have a little salty, have a little salty snack. Just spitballing here for, uh, for looks maxing products that you can make in the future. Speaking of looks maxing products, Let's try one of those out. All right, so I got this gum. It's called Facial Fitness Chewing Gum. Oh Mint, my God. vegan, ultra tough, train your jaw and facial features. And then the statue of David here. I didn't know David was fucking mewing, dude. Mucoangelo. <laughs> Number 12, <laughs> cock. This is a very hard slash tough fitness chewing gum where every chewing process strains the jaw and facial muscles. That's why I recommend chewing the gum for no longer than 10, 15 minutes every other day. Why? Jaw What's gonna happen if I do it every day? It can have a laxative effect if consumed in excess. All right, so I guess we'll just crack into this. See how it goes. Oh God, holy shit. Fucking big ass piece of gum, bro. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, dude. I could put that on my bed, use it as a pillow, dude. Look how big this thing is, dude. <laughs> Looking ass gum. Down the hatch, I guess. Okay, so there was a there was a big sort of snap, 
at the first bite as I broke it in half. Ah. Fuck this, this sucks. And here's the thing. How long have I been chewing this? 10 seconds? Taste is already gone. I'm gonna start tasting blood, I think. Because <laughs> of how much I've chipped my fucking teeth. What the fuck is in these? Can have a laxative effect if consumed in excess. <laughs> Good. What did I just put into my mouth? Laxative is a uh, diarrhea, right? Good. <laughs> it was making me sick. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna chew this for 10 minutes, but I will say this. I feel like looks maxers, they put a lot of emphasis on having like clean teeth, right? But I don't think it matters how fucking clean your teeth are if they're all chipped from chewing fucking gum this hard, dude. I think it's easy to take care of your teeth if you only have fucking one of them, dude. That's a lot easier. Also, dude, if I asked for a piece of gum from one of my friends and they handed me one of these, I'm fucking them up. I'm taking a hammer to their face. They're not in the good kind. The packaging <laughs> recommended chewing the gum for 10 minutes, so that's what I did. And let me tell you, this was one of the most unenjoyable things I have ever done in my oh, entire God. life. Felt like I was chewing on like a really tough piece of meat and I, I hated uh, every second of it. Even Kiwi hated it and I don't blame him. Uh, I'm getting mugged. I'm getting mugged by you, Kiwi. Probably like to make you like seem like super hard, mm. you know, like super unpleasant and it won't change anything. That moment man. when you get mugged by your dog. And after 10 minutes that felt like 10 hours, I spat that piece of garbage in the fucking garbage. Okay, zero out of 10. This shit fucking sucks, dude. Also, I figured I would start ranking these methods and techniques in a tier list as we go on. It might help to visually illustrate how these different methods hold up. So the jawliner gum, that's gonna go D tier. This shit fucking sucks, man. It loses its flavor in two seconds. It feels like you're chewing on a sock. It just sucks. <laughs> and it makes you wanna puke, okay? Bad gum. And also mewing, I think I'm gonna put a, because it's easy and I don't know, it's kind of funny. Later that day, I decided to try out the hunter eyes exercise because I want my eyes to look just like Hunter Biden. So cute. The blinking exercise felt weird as hell. I, I fucking really hated that one because my eyes were making little slimy clicking noises whenever I blinked and it really freaked me out. And the whole time I was doing this, I just kept thinking like, is this really how malleable our faces are? You just <laughs> move around and your face stays like that, dude. Like we're fucking Play-Doh, but that Play-Doh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Why don't people understand this? Like, it's <laughs> it, like a kid's logic, you know? It's if like, it was that easy, everyone will do it. Everyone I will know. shape like their faces uh, like they are, yeah. you know? Women, they won't pay for like thousands of thousands for fucking, you so, know, this lift. Oh my if, god. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just want my eyes to look like this. All I'm okay, gonna okay. do is like, I'm gonna grab it. For one and month I, and it's oh gone. Oh my god. <laughs> I followed all the exercises from that TikTok, but after a while, I started to get pretty bored. So I started messing around in the mirror and remember this thing I used to do a lot when I was a kid where I grabbed my lips and stuck my tongue out because I thought it made me look like a goat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, it's still hilarious. I guess I am the goat. So I think I'm gonna put the hunter eyes exercises in the C tier because some of them felt kind of nice but most of them uh made my eyes feel weird and, and itchy but i will be putting my goat impression in the s tier because that was hilarious <laughs> the next day i decided to try out the little posture fixing vibrator i bought so let's see how that went Okay, morning guys, it is um, about 10.30. Today I'm gonna try out this uh, this posture thing. Cause even in this fucking video right now, I'm slouching like fucking crazy, which is really annoying. Uh, I'm gonna try out this uh, upright this go like S. Probably the one that must, must be like it. more beneficial to you, but not yeah. for the looks maxing. More yeah, like yeah. To it's the posture maxing. The, the, yeah, posture maxing, <laughs> exactly. Product that like zapped you every time you slouched. And I was trying to find that, but I feel like that might've been a dream. But this is kind of what it, like it's kind of the same thing. This is sort of like a dog collar, but for people with bad posture. I don't think dog collars are for dog posture. So like, this is a clip from like five minutes in the future from then on. Posture, that's the joke I should have made, okay. All right, so let's take a look at this packaging here. Take control of your posture. Real-time posture feedback. Use daily goals that are personalized and based on your performance to improve your posture. See your daily posture stats and keep track of your progress over time. Tiny device, huge impact. <laughs> I know a little something about that. Backed by science, we apply biofeedback science to create cognitive awareness that empowers behavior change. Multiple studies conclude that using upright devices results this can be a good, in positive if it health really outcomes works, yeah. be a designed to product. fit every back. <laughs> yeah, I'd hope so. Is this it here? Oh, it's pretty oh, small. Well, the only one that doesn't sound like yeah, stupid. I, feel, I forgot that I have to charge it. So I'm gonna charge this and then we'll get back to it. But I feel like I just bought 
a little vibrator. So that's pretty fun. A few hours later. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. My vibrator is fully charged. I gotta download You bought an 10 app. already? Yes! Because fucking everybody, everything has a fucking app. Did it work? Days. What the hell are we doing, guys? Everything you buy, it's gotta come with an app. You gotta download an app. I bought a fucking bushel of bananas the other day, and it was like, download the banana app to track your banana intake. Corporate big wigs, man. Okay, welcome to Upright. Hi. Find out when you're slouching with a gentle buzz. Not, not gonna lie, I kinda wanted one of these. If these <laughs> actually work, yeah, yeah. I will kinda want the one. Get a nice buzz going. I'm a male. I'm a male. How many hours a day do you spend sitting? I'm a male. Oh my gosh. I say seven to ten. It's okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna really like to um, stand up. Look better. <laughs> nice. <What>? Okay. <laughs> Oh, Are you like this posture thing? Uh, just, just by speaking about posture, it's making me feel like I was so sluggish. How bad our posture is. Yeah, and I feel like I, you know, does okay. it happen to you? Yeah, Every time yeah. like someone mentions like it's posture, you like all of a sudden it's like, it's yeah, a it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a reminder. We put it anywhere that's easier to reach. Okay. What the fuck. Okay, so it's all set. Okay, so that's green, and then if I slouch. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, so it works. I can definitely see how that uh, could be annoying. What's like the threshold? If I'm like there. Oh. Dude, even a little bit. Okay, well. Fuck, I just did it again. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wear this like all day and Oh, see you have how to stay goes. 60 seconds during also, the day. I gotta do some work also, some writing. So this will be an interesting day to see how it goes. So, so you have, he has to read yeah, the, it the thing again. like I'm probably gonna get super annoyed with this because I'm already annoyed, but so far it's working pretty well. And I like this little guy. He kind of does what I do. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Posture is gonna be goaded by the end of this. Back I like this small second. Sorry. <laughs> he fucking vibrated again. Jesus. Okay. Later that night, I had to memorize some lines for an audition, and I figured that would be the perfect time to test out the posture vibrator. And right off the bat, I was slouching like fucking crazy. And it's probably because I've been slouching for the past 29 years. But even with the constant vibrating on my back, it was incredibly difficult to stop just going back to the default fucking gamer posture. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say the vibrator did exactly what it claimed to do. And it was really annoying if I'm being honest. Every time it vibrated, in my head I had this like battle, this debate, right? I was like, what's more annoying? This occasional vibrating right now or the years of discomfort I will inevitably experience if I don't fix my current posture? And I think the obvious answer to that question is the vibrating right now. Because the vibrating <laughs> is right now. The years of discomfort, what the fuck? When's that? When is that? Years? It's in the future? What even is that? The future doesn't exist, okay? There's only right now. But anyways, I figured I would put the posture vibrator in the A tier. It yeah. is super annoying, but like it fucking, it really works. Like every time yeah. it vibrates, it's annoying as hell so you're like okay i don't want that to happen again i'm gonna i'm gonna straighten up okay initial thoughts i've been wearing it for about a half hour um this is only really beneficial if you're just fucking sitting at a desk because if you try to do anything else while you're wearing this vibrating thing it will it will vibrate whenever you bend down at all so uh, i just started like tidying up my office a little bit and every time i bend down it started oh. <laughs> uh, something uh, that's yeah. a little annoying i don't think i'll be able to wear yeah, it it's really so maybe you. not maybe i'll just yeah. learn to but also when you're walking and doing stuff like you don't really need these yeah. right and the next day i decided to try out some of those uh jaw exercises from the sideways oh my god man. these ones and are so dumb chat. because this is looks maxing right you're supposed to like it's supposed to make you feel good about yourself i've never felt uglier in my whole life <laughs> while doing these exercises this one especially dude i look like a fish that washed <laughs> up on a beach <laughs> and if i'm being honest none of these exercises felt like i was like actually doing anything it didn't feel like i was getting because it uh, doesn't like do anything workout it kind of just felt like i was straining my jaw over and over again like who am i your mom jaw exercises <laughs> c tier because i never want to see myself doing those ever again at this point in my looks maxing journey i couldn't tell if any progress was actually being made Sometimes it seemed like it was even getting worse. But later that night, I decided to try out the other product I purchased, the Gua Sha Stone. The I looked Gua up a video Stone. from someone who actually knew what they were doing because I don't trust a British look smacksing child on TikTok to tell me what to do with it. I don't have any proof that that guy's British, but sometimes you can just tell, you know? So I followed along with this instructional video from Tina Enjo. And this was such a nice change of pace from the other products and methods. The music was calming. The Gua Sha Stone felt really nice on my skin. And it actually felt 
really relaxing. Okay, so I just did my first gua sha. Wish I had somewhere to clip this microphone. <laughs> oh, why did I even try that? <laughs> yeah, first impressions felt fucking awesome, man. It felt really relaxing. I mean, it, yeah. it makes sense. It's people have it been is like it pretty cold, right? Thousands of years, so obviously yeah. there's some there's some it's benefits like the, to yeah. it. And watching this video compared to the TikTok that I found I out about it, in, it's just crazy to see both ends of the self care spectrum. <laughs> on one side, you have like calming like videos a, like this, like a... and on the other side of the spectrum is like get yourself a hammer, break your fucking you know? jaw. It's, really good. it's like a massage. So the gua sha stone. That's or, or maybe too. like it's just like uh, you know like she looks like those stock Asian stock image. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> Loved it. So no maybe notes. that's what I saw. Time for go. Goofy Again? Up, what the hell is this bullshit? Oh. <coughs> and the taste is already gone. I don't know what it is about this gum, but whenever I chew it, I want to throw up. Is that normal? <laughs> I then decided to try playing some video games while wearing my posture corrector. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't think being an epic gamer could get any lamer. But playing video games with perfect posture has got to be the dorkiest thing I've ever done in my life. I want to steal my own lunch money and give myself a swirly just watching this video back, dude. It just sucks how well that posture vibrator works, you know? It sucks. Fucking hate this little thing, man. I hate it. I should just... Ugh. I should just freaking sh like shove it. I should shove it on my butt or something. What? Yeah, that'll show it. <laughs> it would suck for me, right? That'll that'll teach you the lesson, right? <laughs> the next day, I had one final looks maxing product to test out. It's a new day, new fucking product to try. I'm gonna do the jaw, jaw exerciser. exerciser. I'm curious to see the details of this because it looks just like you gotta chew on something. Oh, the it video, was right? the. Kinda... That's the tutorial. It's a video of a guy going like, "Well, first off, the chewing cube or something." Uh... Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Dumb okay, bird. never mind. I think after this, I'm gonna have to try intelligence maxing. I'm gonna take a video of this <laughs> so you know what I'm talking did. about. But yeah. this little thing, it says 30 pounds. That's 40 what he's lacking on TikTok, pounds. man. So that means pressure. Like, but another, I mean, in these past two days, I've been trying to scroll on TikTok and. Yeah. Bro, just like to try to figure out what can we do there. And it's so hard. Mm like it is so hard to understand the platform it is so random it is weird like i don't get it like i i can go to instagram reels and i get it you yeah, know, like, yeah oh oh i get why this works yeah. i get like on tiktok it's, TikTok it's so is unpredictable like, it's so weird it is very very weird like and you don't find any sensible content there and the, the, there there's no, no logic. Sense. There's not a lot yeah. of logic. That's why it exists on TikTok. Yeah, you know? true. 30 pounds of pressure it takes to squeeze it. In my head, I was like, that's how much they weigh. Genuinely, in my head, I was like, how do these weigh a collective... 13 minus 50. 120 pounds and I'm just carrying it all <laughs> willy-nilly in my hand. Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking idiot. Place both exercises between the molar teeth, position the units where it feels comfortable, hollow surfaces should be facing up and down and the Mayana logos facing sideways. Squeeze and release the units using your molar teeth. Chewing motion should be a straight up and down and not a circular motion. Make sure to apply repetitive squeezing exercises with a light force and not bite too hard on the silicone units, okay? Repeat the exercise until you feel your jaw is tired. We suggest doing a 20, 30 repetitions at a time Man. and a few sets per day? Yo. Running out of storage on my phone. <laughs> Perfect. 500 gigabytes? Not enough still? Perfect. So yeah, these definitely look like they're easy to choke on, you know? It feels like a, feels like an eraser. And I've chewed on my fair share of erasers growing up, so I think this will be just like that. If I was a baby, did you, did this you would be the cause of my death. To buy into that. That. Me too. All right, here we go. <laughs> so then the smell was so good. Yeah. I started my jaw exercise and it seemed to be going fine. You know, I was munching on those things and I could feel my jaw getting a nice workout. But then all of a sudden I got like super nauseous out of nowhere. The smell of the rubber. <coughs> okay. Great. <laughs> I love these. Sorry, I didn't mean to gag like that. I think I just have a really bad gag reflex, but uh, yeah, that would, uh, those make me want to throw up. And my jaw feels tired, so that I guess it I guess it works. I also, when I was chewing those, I had like a split second. I was like, imagine choking on these and dying. <laughs> and that's how I got <laughs> the embarrassment. I would feel would be worse than dying, I think. I guess it said to do uh, a couple sets a day, so I'll do another one later just to see how it- Imagine, 
<laughs> Young man dies with a jaw exercise <laughs> on, a, on his mouth. Yeah. Looks maxer. Goes. Maybe okay. I won't puke that time, but uh, mewing's a lot easier. So I'm going to put those little jaw exercisers in the C tier. I would okay. put them in the D tier, but I did feel my jaw muscles getting a good exercise. And also, I didn't choke and die on them. If I would have died, though... These would be in the D tier. D stands for dead. Also, I've been thinking that, like the more I mew, because I've been doing it like all day, every day for the past like week almost. The more I do it, the more I'm seeing the benefits, not just for like the jaw that I haven't really seen too much of that yet. But like, I just think life would be easier for guys in general if we all just mewed all the time. Because if you're mewing, you're not talking. If you're not talking. <laughs> You're not gonna say any dumb shit. So, ladies, if you want to get your boyfriend to stop saying dumb shit all the time, make him start mewing, dude. It's ah, well, actually, what am I saying? Like any stray women are watching my videos. <laughs> ladies, if you want to get your girlfriend to stop saying a bunch of dumb <laughs> shit, get him on the mew train. All right. Oh my god. Hmm. All right, it was my final day of looks maxing. I've done every exercise. I've tried every product. I've walked every walk. So I figured the final day would be the perfect day to cram everything into one final looks maxing day. And this was rough, I'll admit it. I started off with some jaw exercises that only really just hurt my mouth. I then tried to get some work done while mewing with perfect posture. I was typing and clicking like crazy. To be honest, I was so focused on my posture, I didn't even realize what I was doing. And when I looked up at my screen to see what I have created, I was pretty impressed. I did a quick jaw exercise with my little vomit inducers and I hated every second of it. I hate these things, okay? They're bad. <laughs> I then went into the bathroom and got really excited because I got to do my gua sha routine again. And this was really relaxing and I felt very calm. This was the best part of my day. And as soon as I was done, I went back into losing my goddamn fucking mind. This is what one week of looks maxing does to a motherfucker. This was the lowest point of the week. I've done so much. And I don't think there's been any impact on my appearance. There's definitely been an impact on my fucking brain, but what's the point of that? Who cares? You can't even see my fucking brain. I wish my head was see-through. I got to such a low point that I was even considering the <laughs> forbidden look smacksing tactic. But then I decided the hammer was actually a really nice guy and he would never hit me in the face. And that's what I said. Hammer. I hardly know her. <laughs> And oh later my God. that night, I popped in another piece of jawliner gum while I had the posture corrector on. And this was a mistake. This was the most annoying the, the 10 minutes gum of my like, life. I would be focused be the on worst. not puking from this gum, and then the thing would buzz on my back. And it was just a constant loop of that until I threw in the towel. I can't fucking wear this thing anymore, man. Move my neck one thing. It's like... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fuck that. <laughs> fucking hate this gum. <laughs> <laughs> and with that... I Oh my god. Uh yo uh, Divey. Divi. Welcome to the channel. Uh, what is the channel about? Well, it's me and my wife, Pirikri. And uh we just go through the news of the week on the internet yeah. and uh we also react to some fun uh content and uh we like to have conversations and that's about it. What about you, man? I was finally done my week of looks maxing. And the result all right, what, well, what it's been about results? a week of trying out these looks maxing products and implementing these daily exercises Nothing and routines. Happened. And it's time to find out if any of that had any impact whatsoever on my appearance. I just took a photo at the same angle as the original one from <laughs> it's gonna a be week a ago. Job. So let's see the results. Do you guys see any difference? It actually does kind of look like my jaw got a little sharper, which is which is a little weird. <laughs> I mean, that's gotta be an angle thing, I'm sure, right? There's no way that I actually fucking worked in the last week, right? Oh, sorry, it looks different because I edited the, the picture. This is what I actually look like now. <laughs> Pretty fucking similar. Yeah, there's no difference, okay? And that's how easy it is to lie to people about the results of looks maxing. So you can sell them Mogwarts classes and jaw exercisers. I'm sure we could zoom in and, you know, try to dissect very minimal changes. You know who's a looks maxer? Zach Efford. You know, that, no. that guy that uh, did it from High School Music? Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, that, he's a looks maxer, 100%. But, like, I, I bet, like, he was showing the shit out of those gums. Mm, so, so, like, this, so, so you see, like, he didn't edit a lot, uh -huh. but this minute edit changes a lot. Yeah. And yeah. that's what a lot of... Uh, influencers do mm -hmm. but i don't think there are any from what i've seen you can do that for yourself in your own spare time if you're one of those people um like without a job and sure you could say it takes longer <laughs> to see results but if something takes longer than a week to see results 
It's not worth your time. Okay, yeah. never mind. That's not that's not the lesson here. To be honest, I can totally see how easy it is to fall down the looks maxing pipeline. It's a community that's a little bit more self-aware of its absurdity than the other similar ideologies in the manosphere. And I never want to discourage people from wanting to improve their health. But looks maxing kind of does the opposite of what it's intending sometimes. Obsessing over your features that much is not good for your brain. But also at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and say everything about looks maxing is wrong. Having good posture and taking good care of your teeth, I'd agree with that any day. Smashing your bones, stretching your <laughs> junk, and chewing on rocks, parading as gum. Don't do any of those things oh, ever, obviously. This is Through everything oh. I tried, I think the strength strangest part of this week was just like staring at myself for long periods of time, combing through every detail, looking for improvements, searching for a sign of a sharper jawline, and not being able to see any. I feel like this is the shit that makes like so you so insecure, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. I never look at the mirror, not because I don't like myself. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I know how I look, I mm -hmm. brush my teeth, but I don't go and like... Oh my god, let me try to find like my imperfection. Oh mm -hmm. my god, I got a wrinkle here. That's true. Oh. The, the, the more you look at it, the more imperfections you find. So there was this uh uh dermatologist, she was saying, I'll tell you how to minimize your pore, open pores. And and the, at the end she said, just look at the mirror from far. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> say, yeah, just do a step back and don't be like yeah. like uh, this. Segment. If you're gonna be like looking like this, you're gonna see all the spots, everything, every single thing. Yeah, pool. that's so true. That's so true. All I saw was just me. I looked at myself in the mirror, and the face that looks back at me today is not the same face I saw when I looked in the mirror mm. 20 10, five, or even one year ago. I've never had a say in how my face was going to change over the years. And I love that. We should all love that. And if I'm being honest, the more I did these exercise and methods this week, the more I thought to myself, God, I hope this doesn't actually change my face. <laughs> Cause then my face wouldn't be mine, right? It wouldn't be my fucking face. I think the overall message I'm trying to convey, which is very base level, but I know it's hard, but I think you should at least try to love the things that make you unique. You got a big nose. That's badass. You can smell more stuff. You know, if you've got orange <laughs> hair, then that's fine. <laughs> if you have an Audi belly button that you hate or something, then that's that's actually fair. I agree with that. Audi belly buttons are weird as fuck. And also the other lesson is don't hit yourself with a hammer and start crab walk. I can't be the only guy doing it, okay? I need all claws on deck. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed already, what the hell great. are you doing? Press the button, yeah. okay? Looks fucking maxi, man. This was, uh, I really enjoyed it, man.